By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up your first AI scheduling agent through N8N. Totally for absolute beginners, non-techies, and no coding involved. In this short video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to easily set up an appointment scheduling agent. The goal is for you to be able to communicate with the AI assistant via Telegram chat and for it to be able to schedule appointment accordingly. First, go to your Telegram chat and on the find field, just type in Godfather and make sure that um, you're clicking on the, uh, on the right one, which is the one with the tick, and click on start. So what Botfather is, is a place where you would create your Telegram bot. Now, as I've explained in my other video, this is not the same bot as to the bot or AI agent that you're building on your NADN. This is actually a bot that lives in your Telegram chat or your Telegram app, basically, and um, listens in on to messages that would come in or, you know, or, or any channel, depending on your settings that will create just in a second. And to start off, just put a new bot. And what are we going to call it? Test bot and just do another one test bot which is the username sorry this one's already taken so test mark bot let's see also taken test mark two three bot there we go so um what's what you've done is basically you've created a test mark one two three underscore bot so this particular bot has this api token which you can copy by clicking. So as you can see, it's copied to the clipboard. So just click on it, copy to the clipboard, and now you can go to your NADN workflow. And how you would connect it, basically just click on add your first step, punch in Telegram, and remember your actions and triggers note. So what you wanna be choosing is the trigger note for Telegram, and just look for on message, okay. And again, I've already got a credential set up previously, but what you want to be, so you won't, you, would, you wouldn't be seeing this on your end. What you'd be looking at is to create new credential and just paste your API key or your access token in. The base URL is already filled up and click on save. And that's it. So it's a green bar showing that it's tested successfully. So your all set is connected. Now what you can do is test message, test, you know, the, make sure that it works. Go back to your telegram and now you want to be chatting with this bot. So click on the bot and just say, so, so you can say hi, but actually the first message is start, backslash start. So if you go back, you see that now your NADN node has already received a an input, which is the backslash start that was the uh, first message here. So now you're ready to connect it with the AI agent that's gonna automate uh, scheduling and connect it to your kind of tool. So just type in AI, Actually, you already got one there, AI agent. And this is the chat trigger node. You want to choose define below with the prompt message being, let me just move that here, being the text. So just drag and drop, simple as that. And remember, with every AI agent, you need to specify the chat model, which is a brain. So in this case, we would use the OpenAI chat model. And I've connected a credential. And so if, you, if you're new and you've not create, created any OpenAI account credential, um, uh, there's a link to the video that I did uh, explaining how you can do that exactly step by step. So do check it out. But essentially with this, we're going with GPD-40 mini. So that's good. And the second thing we need to specify is the memory. So we need to assign it a simple memory. And again, we can define below basically the session ID. Again, what the session ID is, is the particular session that the AI will refer to to get contextual knowledge of the conversation. So basically, it is something to tell the AI that, hey, this is a conversation that we're referring to so that it retains the knowledge or the history of the chat and it understands what you're talking about, right? So in this case, the chat ID would be right ID to drag and drop in there. And then finally, the tool, of course, we need to connect it with our Google Calendar tool because that's what, what that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be able to create a, an event on the calendar. So again, I've not connected to my Google calendar yet. So you would need to create a new credential. Again, if the beauty is if you're signing in with your Google Chrome account, you, you, can, you have an easy option to just connect it to the Chrome account, sorry, the current calendar account and continue. Just check mark all of that, done and account is connected. Okay, all right, so now that the account is connected, tool description, you can set that automatically, resource, leave it as event. Operation is to create the event from calendar. So this is where you'll pick the client calendar. And in this case, I'm gonna pick Gmail. And um, yes, so this is where you wanna remove the field that came with it because we're not 
create an event that's starting now, we will, we're going to simply let the model define this parameter because then the AI is going to be able to, based on your prompt, determine you know the start and end date. Sorry, the start and end time of the, the appointment that they're going to make. Right. So just put start and end by clicking on those easy little buttons. Okay, and that's it. All right. So we have our first Google Create event on the calendar, and finally we want to connect that back to a Telegram chat. In this case, I would send a text message back to inform the user that, you know, either an event has been scheduled or edited or, you know, whatever that is, right? So send message with the chat ID. All right, in this case, we need to, we should test out the note. And as you can see, uh, there is a problem here. Authorization failed. Uh huh. okay, so API keys, okay. So, it's, so let me check that. And essentially going back to my OpenAI API account and making sure that Okay, so actually, yeah, I need to create a new secret key. So test. Okay, so create a secret key. Copy that. All right, and so this is probably a good opportunity to show you how to set up the credential. So I need to reset it up. So change the API key. So just as housekeeping, I would name this as new. Okay, optional. So that's it. You can leave this blank and click on save. And yep, that's a green bar means connection is successful. Um, all right, so let's run the AI agent again. Everything works well now. Okay, so let's see the double click on the Telegram output. So there's an AI agent. I remember the input here. So let me just go back. The input to the agent was a simple text backslash start. So when you basically, you know, if you type that in the chat GPT, this is what it's going to tell you, right? Hello, how can I assist you today? Because you didn't really prompt it with any request or any question. For now, so what we, we want to do here is to drag the output, drop it, drop it here, so that it would just say whatever the output is, and send that to the correct chat ID on Telegram, which is this one, right? So just drag and drop, and basically that's it. And I want to remove the NADN attribution message, so I'm just going to do that and click on test step. There's some form of output. Go back to my Telegram, and yep, this is the output. So now we know that the AI can receive message from your Telegram and it can also send message back to your Telegram chat. Now we want to make sure that it's connected well to the calendar. So what you want to do is to specify what exactly the AI agent needs to do, right? So you've already passed on the prompt user message here, but what you would also want to do is, sorry, go to add option and click on system message. And basically again, a system message is the specific instruction on which the AI agent will operate, right? So in this case, it's just a very generic you are a helpful assistant, which we want to replace that with. Again, you guys don't have to worry about what I'm writing in here because it will be available in a template, which I'll link below in the description. But essentially what I'm writing onto the assistant message is you are a helpful appointment scheduling assistant. You will receive requests from users to set up appointments. Your job is to use a calendar tool to create and delete the event. If you're asked to, sorry, I don't know why I it up there and, and I have some rules when the exact date of time is specified, Always refer to the current time. Always assume the time is in GMT plus eight because I'm located in Singapore at the moment. And unless specified, assume event duration, duration will be one hour. Again, this is just some guidelines as to how it can operate. And the reason why I added this part in is because a lot of the times the AI agent will hallucinate or make up facts in terms of the time if you're because you will very likely text the AI agent saying, hey, create an appointment for next Tuesday at 2 p.m. You know, with Jason, for example, right? And it doesn't actually know what the current time is. So this is just basically a prompt to, to let it know that to always check what is the current time in those cases, All right? So, okay, cool. So we have a system prompt now done. So we're gonna click on task workflow here and basically it's waiting for my Telegram trigger. So I'm gonna go back to Telegram and I'm just go, hi. Can you create an event for a doctor's appointment with Dr. Jason? And I'll even include Dr. Jason's email, which is usually my own email, um, at 2 p.m. Uh, next Tuesday, 3rd of June. Okay, so going back to the workflow, it receives a Telegram message. It's thinking with the OpenAI chat model and going to Google Calendar using that scheduling the event and kicking out a message back to us. Going back to the Telegram, it says, I've successfully created an appointment with Dr. Jason on Tuesday, June 3rd, 2025 at 2 p.m. SGT. You can view the event here. So if you click on this link, it should show you the event here. Uh -huh. You see that there's no title to this particular event. So what you need to do to make sure that it can specify the title, you want to add field 
and in this case you want to look for summary and in the summary well you can you know the easiest way is to let the model define this as well so the model will be able to create the event in this case because I told it it's going to be a doctor's appointment it's going to say a doctor's appointment all right so okay leave it as that and we can run test again all right it's calling the Google Calendar tool and it's scheduling another this is when you look at the calendar this is the previous one with the no title so I'm just going to delete that and this is a new one doctor's appointment with Dr. Jason from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. on Tuesday 3rd of June okay so that's the easy way to set up a simple AI scheduler agent of course there are variations to this you can add tools in terms of trying to edit or, or delete the event but I thought I'll keep this one short just to give you a quick insight as to how to get started step by step and of course if you have any questions let me know if you have any ideas or requests on what I should build next let me know as well in the comments below as I've mentioned earlier uh, workflow you can find it uh, I'll leave the link below and of course if you enjoy the content please consider subscribing I'll see you in the next one